Hi everyone, welcome to Storytime with Miss Sarah. Let's get started with our hello song. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? How are you today? I am fine, I hope you are too. I am fine, I hope you are too. I am fine, I hope you are too. I hope you're fine today. <gasps> Clap in my hands, you do it too. Clap in my hands, you do it too. Clap in my hands, you do it too. Clap your hands with me, yay. So let me see our first story. Today is called We March, and it was written and illustrated by Shane W. Evans. The morning is quiet. The sun rises. Oh, yeah. Waking up the kids. And we prepare. Oh, so it looks like they're getting ready to go out. Oh, yeah, this says we prepare to march. Other people. We pray for strength. We work together. Also see they're helping each other make signs for their march. We come from all over to march. So here's people coming from buses. We follow our leaders. Also see Ant Man right there, Martin Luther King Jr., one of the leaders. We walk together. We sing. Singing together, supporting each other. We are hot, we are hot and tired, but we are filled with hope. Important to have hope. We lean on each other. So there's that family. Let's get back there together. Leaning on each other. As we march to justice. Let's keep full there, huh? To freedom. Oh boy, it is Danny. The end. Yeah, it was um, based on a true story about the march in Washington back in the 60s, um, 1960s. And so um, we're going to sing, sing a song today. And I have my friend um, Share Bear with me because Share Bear is all about being kind to one another and loving one another and, you know, standing up for what is right, like what the march in Washington was about. So Share Bear my share bear <laughs> he's gonna help or she, they're gonna have share bear is gonna help me sing the more we get together okay the more we get together 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 the more we get together the happier we'll be 
Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. The more we love each other, each other, each other. The more we love each other, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we love each other, the happier we'll be. The more we share with each other, each other, each other, the more we share with each other, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we share with each other, the happier we'll be. The more we smile, we smile, we smile. The more we smile, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more smile, the happier we'll be. Yay! Thank you, Share Bear. Why don't you go sit back there? And we actually have a bonus book today. And this is about a real person. Her name is Ruby Bridges. Years ago, black children and white children did not go to school together. They did not live in the same neighborhoods. They never had a chance to meet and become friends. In some states, there were laws that kept black people and white people apart. Even when new laws replaced the old laws, many people stuck to the old ways. Ruby was just a little girl, but she wasn't afraid to face big bullies on her way to school each day. So here's Ruby Bridges. Ruby Nell Bridges was born on September 8th, 1954 in Tyler Town, Mississippi. Ruby lived with her parents and grandparents on a farm. Ruby's parents did not go to school. They decided to move to a big city so Ruby could go to school. Ruby's family moved to New Orleans. Ruby's dad got a job at a gas station. Her mother worked nights. So see, they're going to bed, but the mom's going to work and she's giving them all a kiss for night. Ruby went to kindergarten in New Orleans. All her classmates were black. She liked school. She had friends to play with during recess each day. Let's see, there she is with all her friends. In 1954, the Supreme Court ruled that the state could not have separate schools for black and white children. The court said that schools, separate schools, were not equal. That's right, everyone should be able to go to school. The same schools. Ruby's father didn't want her to go to the white kids' school. He was afraid of trouble. But her mother thought Ruby would be a good example for other black children to follow. Ruby was one of the first black children to enter an all-white school. The whole town showed up to keep her out. But Ruby made up her mind to do the right thing. She was only six years old. So there she is going to school for the first time. And those men with her are U.S. Marshals. They wanted to Keep her safe. November 14th, 1960 was Ruby's first day at the all white elementary school. Angry crowds of white people were gathered on Ruby's way to school. They shouted at her. Big tall white men protected Ruby by standing close. And it says one police officer said Ruby never cried. She just marched along like a little soldier. She was very, very brave and only six years old. Ruby was the only black child at school, but there are only a few white children too. Most people took their children out of the school. Some worried about safety, but most took their children out of the school to protest having Ruby there. So there she is with her teacher. Um, I think the teacher's name was Mrs. Henry. She was a good teacher. By second grade, things got easier for Ruby. 
She walked to school without needing grown-ups. She made friends. Ruby continued to go to schools with both black and white students. Today, Ruby is married with four sons. She visits schools around the country and tells her story. So look, she was finally able to make friends at her new schools. Yeah, one last picture. So this is a picture of the real Ruby Bridges with Pre President Barack Obama. And it was um, from 2011 when she got to meet him. But yeah, I just thought that was a cool picture so you could see what she really looked like. And so we're gonna do another song about school. And I have my teacher puppet with me. <laughs> okay, ready? This is the way, oh, sorry. This is the way we read a book, read a book, read a book. This is the way we read a book when we're at school. This is the way we listen to teacher, listen to teacher, listen to teacher. This is the way we listen to teacher when we're at school. This is the way we eat our lunch, eat our lunch, eat our lunch. This is the way we eat our lunch when we're at school. This is the way we write in our notebooks, write in our notebooks, write in our notebooks. This is the way we write in our notebooks when we're at school. This is the way we hug the teacher, hug the teacher, hug the teacher. This is the way we hug the teacher when we're at school. Yay, yay school. Ooh. Um, and so before we sign off, I actually want to show you something new we have for people to borrow from the library. They're called grab bags. And they, there's about four or five books, um, sometimes a DVD, and they're all different themes. So this theme is the hero theme. Oh, and there's always a craft always thrown in. The craft is usually in a little bag. So um, this theme is heroes. Let me show you what this one is like. I can get everything out. So the heroes theme is always going to contain a biography of a real life hero. So this one is Sojourner Truth. And then we also will have books about um, oops, community helpers in the heroes bag. And then of course, superheroes. And then there's also the movie. And so there's lots of different themes. Like I said, this is a hero's theme. Um, there's also like an early learning theme, seasons, which obviously will change with the seasons, a holiday one, which again, changes with the holidays. So now the ones we have are um, Valentine's ones. And then um, also princess and I, that's it. I might be forgetting one, but if there's like a theme you're looking for that I didn't mention, you can always call and ask. And this is available at actually um, North Syracuse Birch and Ancestor. So all three of us have these grab bags. So if you have any questions, you can always call them the libraries to ask. But um, until next time, I'll see you at our next story time.